parish of St Margaret Mary in Birmingham within the Archdiocese of Birmingham and in collaboration with the Ordinariate of Our Lady of Walsingham. So if you see this painting from a distance, I feel that the great gift of it is that from this distance one can feel like one is looking into uh, the cottage at Littlemore, into Newman's uh, room there, where he made his confession and where he was received into the church. It feels like we're sharing in that moment. This painting uh, is of a historic moment of the 9th of October 1845 in Littlemore, just outside Oxford. And this moment in history is important because it's the moment that Newman made his confession and then was received into the Catholic Church. I would like to point out three features of the painting that I think will help people to understand something about Newman and indeed Barbary and I hope their own faith. Firstly, uh, the quill pen. The quill pen reminds us of the prolific writing of Newman, whether it be lectures, books, pamphlets, and of course, hymnody, and supremely, the 20,000 letters that he wrote to people, often offering balm in a time of crisis. The pen also reminds us that Newman is a prolific writer of theology, and he helps us to distill our thoughts and to speak clearly about Christ, the Gospel and the Church. If you look to the right, you'll see the writing desk uh, and the, the book there records the book that he'd written at that time, an essay on the development of Christian doctrine, reminding us that Newman essentially came to that point in 1845, reflected in the work of that book, that the truth of the Gospel is contained within the Catholic Church, which of course develops in terms of its own understanding. Penn also reminds us that Newman, after he was received into the Catholic Church, uh, didn't stop his work of enunciating the faith, but also supremely, of course, finding uh, in 1851 the university, the Catholic University of Dublin. And so all those in our parish and archdiocese of Irish descent can, and all of us can give thanks uh, for that uh, historic moment. So the second uh, symbol that you can see uh, is the Passionist insignia, which translates as Passion of Jesus Christ. Important to see also the white cross in the centre. It reminds us particularly with Barbary that he preached with a cross in his hand. His ministry was focused on the cross. You can see, if you look carefully, the nails as well that our Lord, of course, endured in his flesh. One could also note the rosary that Barbary um, has as his aid to prayer. One of the great things about Newman is that he would have walked through this parish. In those days it would have been a very rural setting, but of course Oscott College was there. And, uh, you know, it's lovely to think this great man, this great saint, uh, would have walked through uh, this parish. And of course Barbary too was associated uh, with Birmingham uh, and uh, of course with Staffordshire. When Dominic Barbary was walking to his parish church in Stone, the young people threw stones at him and uh, he knelt down, picked up the stones and kissed them and put them in his pocket. The fire, of course the fire reminds us in Christian uh, iconography and indeed of course in the Acts of the Apostles, the fire descending upon the Apostles, uh, and the Holy Spirit descending upon the Apostles in the form of tongues of fire. But in this context we're reminded of course as Barbary who's still warming himself, having been soaked uh, on his stagecoach journey. We see Newman, of course, in layman's gear. And so we're reminded of the sacrifice that Newman made in order to make that journey. And finally, the hands of welcome. This painting, this icon, really could be uh, a, a visual reminder of Matthew 25 
when Jesus says, I was a stranger and you made me welcome. And you see the hands of Barbara extended to Newman as he welcomes him. A reminder of the physicality of the sacraments, um, the sacrament of confession, of anointing, and of course of Mass itself. Newman would receive a sacrament at what the makeshift altar of the desk on which he'd written so much. So we give thanks for this painting by Michael Long and we pray that it may inspire people as they reflect on the ministry and the mission of St. John Henry Newman and Blessed Dominic Barbary. And so we're very pleased that this space, this Newman Gallery, is available for the community and since we uh, completed the work last year it has been used for meetings um, for young people, for teaching uh, and for people just to have a quiet conversation. It's a place uh, of safety and of course during lockdown it's become now uh, a place where we have done a lot of planning uh, for the uh, food bank that we now operate from this parish. This would all be very uh, much in keeping with Newman's vision of reaching out to the people of this city, this great city, the people of Birmingham that he said have souls. O God, who didst bestow upon thy priest, blessed John Henry Newman, the grace to follow thy kindly light and find peace in thy church, graciously grant that through his intercession and example we may be led out of shadows and images into the fullness of thy truth. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen.